Oh, sorry. Go ahead. There you go, bud. I got you. Didn't see that thing up there, but I saw your turn signal. Thanks for using it. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I just realized that I'm hungry. And I was like, well, why am I hungry? And I realized it's because I got up and I got to go ride and I totally forgot about food as a daily activity. So at some point, maybe before I get to the hotel, I'm not sure, I'll have to stop for food. I don't think I'll need gas, but I might stop for that too. If this was a sunny day, I would be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make as many stops as I can, be outside as long as I can. But in this case, it's like, ah, I'm in a hurry to not be in the rain. So I'll, I'll probably just go straight to my destination. That is an observation that I made though. You know what I will say about this bike too? I know I'm gonna talk about this bike more as far as like how it works and kind of like, you know, give my opinion and stuff. I am I would never have a problem with this clutch. The clutch and the brakes feel exactly like I think they should. Normally when I get another bike, the clutch is way too late or too early. This is just, no. Nope. Not not scared about that, and the brakes work. I think I think they should. I haven't put the brakes to like the real test. I haven't hit them really hard, but um, I don't want to in the rain. Obviously, I don't want to hit them hard at all. But I'm, uh, the only thing that really was hard to get used to was turning, of course, especially at like low speeds and uh, seating position, like where my legs go. Because a mistake that a lot of sport bike riders make is they put their and I did it too. Is you they put their bike right down below right down on the exhaust which is not where your foot goes it goes way forward comparatively to like the sport bike i have anyway once i got used to putting my feet up here it was easy i still like i'm gonna be a little squeamish on like uh, sh uh slow turns but on these fast turns it's actually not bad you saw me do some earlier i was like oh that's that's fun Ooh, look at that there's a little island out there wow did it stop raining dude i think it stopped raining it's just sprinkling over here man the weather is diverse dude look at that beach right there and islands and such wow shoot you know i really really need to pull over here and get pictures i should be okay here but i'm gonna park here and i'm gonna put this down and put my hazards on which are over here somewhere there they are cool i really think i'll be okay right here oh no my socks are going squish 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 okay here's the thing though uh if it's raining, I can't take a picture right now because my camera's too expensive. Ah, it's still spritzing. Yeah, I I, I want to go down there and get a picture of the beach. Heck, because I'm already stopped, I'll walk there really quick and let you guys see. Oh, squish, squish, squish. Feels good. Look, an exotic fruit. <laughs> or, wait, is it a fruit? Look at that. Wow, this is my first time technically being on Hawaii Beach. Hopefully I don't sink into much. All oh, that tropical trash. Look at that. I'm on a beach. How cool. Look at that. There's a whole beach out there. Yeah, probably the next couple days I'll try taking pictures. It's still spritzing and my camera is not waterproof at all. And I want better luck with that. But uh and this is also gush. Look at that. Look at that. There's a whole beach out there. I got another beach to get to at my uh at my resort. Well, I feel cool. I technically was on a Hawaii beach. I think that's the coast. I think this is the east coast right there of the island. That's really cool. And there's a motorcycle over there. Tell you what I think about the looks of it while we're walking closer. I would like it if like that big front cowl wasn't on it, the saddlebags were on there. And then maybe if you extended that rear seat further back, more like a cafe racer, and maybe even leveled it up more, like made it flat. That, you're, you, this is close to the style I like. What I just don't like are the huge plastics, the huge front ends and the big obnoxious scary ones. I don't really care for that. All right, here we go. I was just thinking about my story that I told and I realized I'm missing a really important part. <laughs> so obviously the reason Harley Davidson invited me to do this is because I, a lot of you guys watch motorcycle videos and um, all they asked of me was, to make the videos I want to make while I'm not here. They, did, they didn't tell me I had to do anything other than ride the bike and be on the island for three days. I can do whatever I want. I can make whatever videos I want. I can say what I want. I can be honest about this bike. They're not paying me, but this is an all expenses paid business trip. So they paid for my flight, they paid for my hotel, and I'm sure they're paying for food. So, I mean, that is a good deal for me because I'm a Kansas kid. I don't go anywhere. I live on a flat freaking island, <laughs> flat piece of land, nothing to do out there. I was really excited the opportunity to go somewhere outside of the North, off, off North America. So I said, yeah, so just so you know, this isn't a paid review. This isn't like they pay me to say anything nice. They just wanted to give me an opportunity to go somewhere and do something I didn't do before that I really wanted to do, which is just ride a bike somewhere crazy. Like, look at that, Frank. Anyway, that's important for you guys to know. And I like the bike so far. Just to let you know what I think about it, I would not go out and buy this, me being the kind of person, the kind of rider I am, not saying it's a bad bike at all. I'm actually enjoying this ride a lot, even though it's raining. But I'll tell you more about what I think about this bike later. 
just want to let you know <laughs> a little bit more as I missed that chunk of the story why I'm here and what I'm doing. Falling rocks. Well, that's a good sign. It's very reassuring. Where are these rocks falling from exactly? Whoa, whoa. I got a little vertigo looking up there. Whoa. Wow. Okay, I need to look at the robot. Look at the cliffs right there. Holy crap, that's insane. Look at that. There's a beach over there. A whole beach. I want to go out in that water. Look at that sand. Whoa. Look at that. Look. Okay, I've got to get a picture or something here. Look at that. Wow. So cool. Look at that. That's a proper beach right there. Someone already got the right idea. They've already pulled over. Look at this one. See before I sink into that. <laughs> My socks are more gushy than the ground does. Dude, no rain. I'm getting my camera out. I'm gonna get a picture. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to dry my hands. They're soaked. Ew, ew. <laughs> that black is the, the dye coming out of the leather coming out of my hands. So that's a good sign. I have no way to dry them. I'll just whack them off a little bit and then try to let them air dry my hands before I grab my nice expensive camera. So cool, dude. I'm so happy to be, look at that. It's freaking awesome. I want to get some really good desktop pictures out here. There's the dude. Do you see him way out there? He's out there having a good old time. There's a couple more people. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Imagine just driving along going, I'm going to pull over and go for a swim in the ocean. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, rain just came back. Uh, like spritzes of rain. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to try to get something in here. Okay, so my nice fancy camera's in here. This had better be waterproof because if not, it's screwed. I'm sure it is though, because this plastic lip comes over. So I'm gonna do this, get my helmet out of the way in case water droplets are on that. I don't want them to fall inside of here. Grab that out, close it up, lock it up. There we go. All right. Now, honestly, I want to walk across the street and get a picture. There's a freaking chicken. There's a chicken over there. Look at that. There's a freaking, oh, my camera's away. But there's a freaking chicken over there. I don't know if I can cross this road safe, but look, there's a freaking, there's a freaking Hawaii chicken over there. I want to get pictures on the beach, but I also want to get a picture of that chicken. The chicken is more important. I'm going to try to cross the street first. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't, look at that chicken. Look at him. Look at chicken. 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 That is my favorite flavor. This chicken is life. Oh, don't run away. No, no. Chicken. Oh, I wanted a picture of that chicken. Okay, well, I got kind of photos. I only got a picture up over this fence because the freaking mountains look awesome. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Happiness. I want a wide lens shot. Hopefully that's not electric. In case it is, I'm gonna put it up here on the post. Yeah. Picture that too. Get a picture of that rock. We don't have rocks in Kansas, just corn. This is fun, dude. Minus the squishy feet. It feels so gross. My my toes are gonna be all pruned up like my hands. I'm not gonna be able to cross the street here for a hot minute. But look at the headlight on that motorcycle. That looks cool. It's like a LED headlight like the ones on my Jeep. The thing is it's not pouring right now. This is camera. It's not waterproof. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the beach. I'm on a proper beach and look at exotic fruit. <laughs> uh oh, I'm sinking in quite a bit. I assume it's legal for me to be out here. <laughs> Foam. <laughs> I'm being a. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, missed it. Oh no! Ah, no! Ah, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. Ah, I thought they were soaked before. Uh. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, of course. The worst thing that could ever happen is the water sloshes up and destroys my camera. I'll just try to watch the waves a little more closely this time. No, 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 not today. Oh, those are actually pretty cool pictures of the waves. Not again, not today. Not today. Oh, no, you got me. You got me really good. It got me really good. Wow. GG wave. The native up there is looking at me and like judging me like look at that idiot. I know, I know, I'm aware. Let's get back to driving to the north side of the island. Still got like half an hour of driving until I get there. I just realized my leg is laying out like that. I forgot I was doing that. It's just comfortable for my knee. <laughs> what my outfit is missing is a big obnoxious, you know, flower necklace that everyone in Hawaii gets. I want this all blacked out. I'm serious biker, flower, little setup. Chicken, 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 chicken. Did you see that? Saw a freaking chicken. 
We are going to that chicken right now. Freaking wild. I didn't know Hawaii had wild chickens. This really is like Call of Duty. Let's see if I can go up to chickens without scaring them with my super loud motorcycle. I just wanna, go, I just wanna get close, that's all. I'm not gonna scare them. Look, look freaking chickens. There's four freaking chickens right there. Look at that. Freaking chickens. How crazy is that? Chickens. We don't have those in Kansas. I mean, we'll tell you they are in Kansas, but they're not just running around like pigeons and stuff. That's crazy. Dude, are those all restaurants? They sure look like it. If they are, I should probably go in there. Yeah, it says right at Pounder's restaurant. Oh, that sounds platonic. Let's go there. I'm probably not gonna be back this way. So let's go to Pounder's. Let's say two hour marketplace parking. Free all day. Wait, two hour marketplace? Why can't I go there? Two hours, is that free? I just need food. Photobomb. Sorry, I ruined your picture. Free parking. Sweet, I'm excited to eat food. I'm really freaking hungry. Wait, Paul, Polynesian Bakery. But do you have food? Oh, I'm excited about this, guys. Okay, well, I'll uh, give you guys an update after I get in there. When I come right back outside, I'll let you know how food was and if there's any pounding. Okay, so I ate. It was really good. I feel a lot better now, less sweaty. Although my, my shoes are completely soaked and socks are full of water. So as I was walking around the restaurant, I was like leaving puddles everywhere. I, like, I look like a child and I felt really bad about leaving puddles in the restaurant, but I'm still soaked in my feet. I'm really anxious to get back to the or to the resort in 15 minutes or so. That's how long it's going to take to get there, and then uh, take these shoes off. And something else I noticed is my uh, Cena on the side of my helmet. The adhesive tape is failing; it like fell off already. And I stuck it back on there. Hopefully, it's going to last the rest of the trip. Also, yeah. Also, <coughs> oh, that's sand. Also, my GoPro mount is doing the same thing. It's starting to fall off. It's like it didn't like the rain i think the rain was part of it but i think the real culprit was the humidity it's killing my mouths and so that'd be really bad if they fell because you know i need the camera more than i need the scene but i need them both and uh you go well why didn't you bring tape i did actually i brought tape for that reason in case they fell off however they are back at the hotel i was at last night on the south side of the island so i have to make this stuff last until i get back to there so hopefully that works out Sorry, didn't mean to ruin your photo. I guess you're picking her up. Yeah, look at him picking up that chick. Oh, he's got a dog, that's how he did it. I'd get in the car if there was a dog. Chickens, they have a whole field of chickens. Look at that. Are you guarding the chickens, man? I'm sorry, I won't harass them. Something I think I kind of neglected to mention, I kind of glossed over it while I was convoluting my whole story about today and last night. So I slept in for 13 hours. I almost made it to 14 like I wanted to. I was really happy about that. Still got 12 or 13 hours. It was great. Uh, something weird happened. Lay in there and then I hear this clank and a thud. I'm like, what is that? Clank, boom. Aloha! Someone opened my door. I'm sure it was a cleaning person, but that was just bizarre. It was like 10. Someone just opened the door. Aloha! And I said, like, all slurred and tired, I'm in here, and then I just closed. And I was like, what the heck was that? I didn't hear any knocking. I just heard a loud boom, like they just opened the door and yelled, Aloha! Didn't see anybody because the door was around the corner from my bed, but that was weird, and that happened. And that's how I was woken up this morning. Hey, did you see that? Dockety 899 Pringle, or whatever it was. It was some of those dockety's, man. Ah, oh, see, I'm really happy and fine on here until I see a sport puck, and I'm like, oh, I want that, though. I like sport bikes better, no question. I just remember this thing has cruise control. And this is not a good time to use it, but I want to use it. So, set is down, cruise control is on, sweet. Now I can work on this mirror. I was looking at the mirror and thinking it's not quite right. And I wanted to adjust it, but I can't because it's on the right side. So I was like, cruise control. <laughs> ah, cruise control, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not planning to go hands-free, but it's there. So I mean, just, you uh, clutch, turn it off. It's not turning off, now it's off. Push it in, sweet. That was easy, nice. I love cruise control. Wish my bike had that. 